Hi Brawlies, Marvin here from TechBureau.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy bureaus. And today, I'll share with you my experience using the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III for pretty much everything that I do on a daily basis, like shooting on camera recordings, sexy bureaus, live streaming, and vlogging. We're going to focus more on the real-world application so that you can have a better understanding of what you can do with this tiny portable camera. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright, so let's start with a quick unboxing and setup of the Canon G7X Mark III as well as the rest of the accessories that came with the package which you can buy separately from Henry's Camera PH. First, we have the Ulanzi MT-03 mini tripod which is quite essential for vlogging so that we can extend the range of the camera and have a wider field of view. Inside the box, we have the adjustable mini tripod itself with a built-in ball head. Next, we have the Boya BY-MM1 shotgun microphone for better audio quality when vlogging. And a small shotgun microphone like this is the ideal solution so that we can make our vlogging setup as minimal as possible. Inside the box, we have a couple of paperwork, the Boya BY-MM1 shotgun microphone itself with a fuzzy dead cat for outdoor use, and a couple of cables for both camera and smartphone use. We also have a 3.5 to 2.5 mm adapter, a silica gel to keep moisture in check, a shock mount, and a small pouch. Next, we have the Ulanzi PT7 extension with a cold shoe mount so that we can mount the Boya BY-MM1 shotgun microphone to the side of the Canon G7X Mark III. Finally, we have the packaging for the Canon G7X Mark III and inside the box, we have a getting started paperwork, a power cable, an external battery charger which is awesome, a small hand strap, the NB13L battery, and the Canon G7X Mark III itself. As you can see, like any modern point-and-shoot camera, the form factor of the Canon G7X Mark III is quite compact and portable. In front, we have the built-in 24-100mm to zoom lens with aperture ranging from f1.8 to f2.8 on the wider side. We also have here a nice and satisfying adjustment ring with tactile notches in it. Of course, we have a Canon logo, the G7X model name, and a small autofocus assist LED right here. Now, flipping it on the top side, we have the mode dial, the exposure compensation dial, the zoom in and out lever with the shutter button at its center, and the power button. We also have here the microphone and the pop-up flash. Next, we have a couple of mounting holes for the neck and hand strap here, and then flipping it all over at the bottom, we have the battery and SD card compartment, the quarter-inch tripod mounting hole, and some product information right here. Flipping it on the left side underneath this cover, we have the USB Type-C port and the micro HDMI port. We also have here the nifty Wi-Fi button. On the other side, underneath this cover, we have a 3.5mm microphone jack, which I'm really happy about. We also have here the switch for the pop-up flash. Now, here at the back, we have a small sort of grip for your thumb, which is nice. And what's good about this camera, especially for vlogging, is that we have a flip-out stand that you can extend and move around like so. We also have here some adjustment buttons and adjustment dial at the center. Overall, the design and build quality of the Canon G7X Mark III is pretty good and it also has a significant amount of physical buttons and dials without making it quite complicated. Now, putting together our vlogging setup with these accessories is pretty straightforward. First, insert the SD card and battery inside the compartment, install the Ulanzi extension mount, plug in the microphone, and install it on the cold shoe mount of the extender. And lastly, connect the Ulanzi mini tripod. That's it, we're now ready to roll. With this setup, thanks to the Olansi extender, we can install an external microphone like the Boya BY-MM1 on the side while still having a clear view of the LCD on top. Alright guys, with the unboxing, parts overview, and setup out of the way, let's test the Canon G7X Mark III for some real-world use case scenarios starting with my regular on-camera recording setup. So for this test, I'm using the Canon G7X Mark III for A-roll or for my on-cam as I typically would. And my microphone that I'm using is the Saramonic Soundbird uh, V1 shotgun microphone that's just um, a little bit out of the frame right now. And then the camera is powered by its own battery, so it's not connected to the um, power adapter. And of course, it is not connected to my PC. It is recording through the SD card itself. So let me know in the comments below what you think about the quality of the camera. This is recording in 4K resolution, by the way, which has its own limitation in terms of the recording time. The maximum recording time at 4K resolution is up to 10 minutes. So if you're going to record longer videos, let's say a podcast or an on-cam recording like this, then you might have to stop and start recording again every 10 minutes. But if you're only shooting shorter clips like vlogs, unboxings, and b-rolls, then 10 minutes should be sufficient enough. 
Let me know in the comments below what you think about the quality of the camera. By the way, I also want to test the internal microphone. So I'm going to switch that right now. So this is a microphone test for the internal microphone of the Canon G7X Mark III. Maybe about uh, 3 to 4 feet away from me. And now, of course, this is a microphone test using the Soundbird or the Saramonic Cer Soundbird V1 shotgun microphone. Again, just um, a little bit off out of the frame. So yeah, our next test probably is a uh, vlogging test to test the autofocus and um, the stabilization of the Canon G7X Mark III. And of course, using the Boya BYMM1 shotgun microphone that um, Henry's also provided for this review. So let's get it. Wee! <laughs> Alright guys, so for this next test, I'm going to use the Canon G7X Mark III for vlogging. So I'm using the Ulanzi mini tripod as well as the Boya BY-MM1 shotgun microphone that Henry's provided for this review. So the um, audio levels of the microphone is set to auto just to simulate a bit of uh, a run and gun situation. And the stabilization on the camera is currently set to standard so I have all the uh, focal length or the wide angle of this camera there's no cropping whatsoever but let me just turn on the um, active or dynamic stabilization of uh, the G7X Mark III so that we can check the crop factor for that um, stabilization alright so now uh, the IS or image stabilization option on the camera is set to high rather than the standard so as you can see it's a little bit more focused or cropped into my face actually so but with this i can pretty much move the camera more smoothly compared to the um, standard setting now i'm going back to the uh, standard setting but first let's just move the camera around probably work around the studio just to give you an idea how it looks how it how it stabilizes the footage with the high setting there you go so pretty decent there's not much um, jitter, stutter, really decent, but you know, the frame is a little bit cropped, which I'm really not a fan of, as you can see. It's just my face. I would prefer to have my a little bit of my chest and half body in the frame for a more um, pleasing vlogging experience. So let me just turn on the standard uh, setting for the IS. And we're back to the standard image stabilization setting. Let's test it out. There you go. All right, so since the focal length of this camera is 24 millimeter to 100 millimeter on the wider side of things, which is 24 millimeter, the camera shake is not that bad. It's not that apparent since we're using the wide angle uh, lens of the built-in lens of the Canon G7X Mark III. So yeah, I would rather prefer this so that I have my chest, a little bit of my chest and yeah, a wider uh, focal length for vlogging which most of you would prefer uh, for sure um, let me know in the comments below what you think about the uh, audio quality of the Boya BY MM1 using the Canon G7X Mark III and with that let's test the audio uh, comparison so this is a microphone test using the Boya BY MM1 shotgun microphone directly connected to the Canon G7X Mark III with auto audio levels now I'm going to plug out the shotgun microphone and use the internal microphone of the Canon G7X Mark III. Alright, so I did not change any setting. I just plugged out the microphone and now I think I'm using the built-in microphone of the Canon G7X Mark III. However, I cannot seem to find any audio levels on the actual display or on the on-screen display of the camera which is a little bit of a bummer. I would have preferred if there's a setting. Let me just check if I can show other details unfortunately not so yeah I don't know if I'm recording audio right now but yeah I remove the microphone and I'm going to plug it back right now there you go so now I'm back on the Boya BY MM1 shotgun microphone so for the most part focusing is pretty decent now now I cannot um, determine so far if the autofocus works perfectly because of the relatively small screen but later on I will check this after I finish recording and see how it does perform right here but a little bit slow if I focus my my face closer like this and then suddenly move out of the frame but it does focus after a while so yeah 
So let me know in the comments below what you think about the Canon G7X Mark III for vlogging like this and again the microphone quality. So let's get back to the review. Alright guys, so for this part of our testing, we're gonna test the Canon G7X Mark III for live streaming. And we actually do have two options when it comes to live streaming using this camera. The first one is the typical setup that I use which is using this USB HDMI capture card, relatively affordable. This one outputs 1080p resolution, so of course, I set the camera to 1080p as well. And as you can see, I have all the overlay or the camera information overlaid on the screen so that you can have an idea about the settings that I use for live streaming. So as you can see, we're using uh, 1 over 60 shutter speed, f1.8, aperture, ISO 125, 29.97 FPS or frame rate, with full HD resolution like I said earlier and uh, what else and I'm using um, auto picture style with custom white balance so basically I set the white balance to 4000 Kelvin uh, to complement the lighting setup that I have here so in terms of lighting setup I have a parabolic softbox right here with uh, a video light LED video light and as you can see the quality is pretty decent especially if you're just going to live stream like 720p and 1080p and um, either facebook or youtube now as you can see having those information on your live stream is not very good but the good thing is that the canon g7x mark III actually have this option called um, clean hdmi output which uh, removes all those overlay which i'm going to do right now So as you can see, we don't have any camera info overlay anymore on our screen. We pretty much have a clean HDMI output, which is a good option or a new feature for the Canon G7X Mark III. So now let's test this out with live streaming. So this is the basically the setup that I use for live streaming um, gameplays, like for Valorant, uh, Eurotrack Simulator, or even when doing live unboxings, reviews, live Q&A and all that. And as you can see, the Canon G7X Mark III is um, pretty much capable for live streaming as you can see here. Now, in terms of powering this camera um, with this live streaming setup, I'm basically connected. The camera is basically connected to a power adapter. I'm just using one of my smartphone charger here. And then I connect the camera via the um, micro HDMI to this, uh, again, a cheap USB HDMI capture card. I don't have any battery on the camera because it is directly powered via the uh, smartphone charger. So this is just one of the two options that we have for live streaming using the Canon G7X Mark III. The other option is using their own software, which we're gonna do right now. Alright guys, so for this testing, I'm using the Canon G7X Mark III for live streaming, but this time I'm using the Canon EOS webcam utility. So essentially, you can use this camera for live streaming out of the box without having to purchase a capture card like this. Now, the camera is directly connected to my PC using the USB Type-C port. So with the USB Type-C port populated, I cannot uh, power the camera externally and I'm relying on the internal battery. Now, you can also purchase dummy battery if you want so that you can use the Canon G7X Mark III for live streaming as long as you want or as long as the camera would allow you to. Now, one downside of using the Canon EOS webcam utility is that the resolution is limited to 576p. So as you can see, we're just using one-fourth of the 1080p resolution. So you can essentially just stretch out the frame like so, but of course, the resolution remains at 576p. Now, that is not good if you want to stream at 720p or at 1080p, but if you want this as a webcam, for like for example, if you want this for Zoom meetings, Viber, and all that kind of stuff, then this way better than your typical webcam. And you don't have to purchase something like this, and you can, you can use this out of the box with the Canon OES webcam utility. Now, there's another way of live streaming using the Canon G7X Mark III, and that is directly live streaming to YouTube, which we're going to test right now. Now, to live stream directly to YouTube using the Canon G7X Mark III, of course, you need a YouTube channel with a verified YouTube live stream option. You also need to have an image.canon account and a stable internet connection. I'll post a link below to the complete tutorial on how to set this up as well as the setup for the EOS webcam utility but essentially, you can start live streaming straight to YouTube using the Canon G7X Mark III via a wireless connection so you are not tethered by wires and with that, you can pretty much go live anywhere you want as long as you have a strong internet connection. Next, for shooting regular videos like B-rolls, supplementary clips, and all that kind of production stuff, I find the Canon G7X Mark III easy to use 
the menus and dials are quite intuitive that even for someone like me who is using a different camera system, I was able to transition to the Canon user interface without missing a heartbeat. And shooting video at 4K resolution in bits and pieces for short B-roll shots is sufficient enough for this type of use case scenario. By the way, thanks to the built-in gyro sensor, you can also shoot vertical videos using the Canon G7X Mark III for IG Story and TikTok. As for still images for shooting products, quick snaps, and thumbnails, I find myself picking up the Canon G7X Mark III more often than my larger camera simply because of its compact form factor and ease of use, not to mention the quick file transfer option via its built-in Wi-Fi feature. Alright guys, so let's wrap this up with a summary of the things that I appreciate and the things that might need some workaround for the Canon G7X Mark III as far as my regular workflow is concerned. First, I appreciate the compact form factor, making everything easy from setting it up to the actual shoot itself. I also like the substantial amount of dials and intuitive interface, making everything quite simple. I also appreciate that we have an external microphone jack, taking the audio quality a step further for an overall better production quality. Although, I would have preferred if we have an audio level indicator on the on-screen display. As for the overall image quality, I'd say it is a pass for me. Although, as I've pointed out earlier, you may have to be patient when it comes to 4K resolution recording since it is limited to around 9 to 10 minutes. And lastly, I also appreciate that you can easily live stream using the Canon G7X Mark III either by using an HDMI capture card, live streaming straight to YouTube, or using the EOS webcam utility, albeit on a smaller 576p resolution. Overall, if you're looking for a compact camera that you can use for quick photo snaps, short clips at 4K resolution that you can also use for vlogging and live streaming, then the Canon G7X Mark III is a good option. However, if one of your requirements is shooting longer 4K videos, then you might need to look elsewhere. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Huge thanks to Canon Philippines and Henry's camera for sending this in alongside all the accessories that we used. You can get all of these using the links below, and if you buy the Canon G7X Mark III now, you can get the following freebies. You can also avail this via a 12-month 0% installment plan with a 3-year warranty through the Red app. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested for more camera reviews like this. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like this and see you next time. Have a great day guys. You're awesome.